Welcome. Today I've got some exciting news. I have finally finished my first multiple signature journal. Um, it's called the Lemon Journal. I was going to call it Lemons and Lace, but there ended up being much less lace in it, and I didn't feel right keeping the name. But um, it's got this little uh, beaded faux flower dangle pinned to the side and the ribbon binding and it has um, a little tuck spot here and this one is a beaded bead button that I put together um, for the clasp and that's just some hand crocheted loop and it opens all the way around but it's glued right here and that's the back uh, and let's get started this journal contains um, printables that I either found for free in the public domain or created myself um, and also has some vintage wallpaper samples um, that are printables. I found them online and uh, I touched them up and printed them out. Uh, this one is a design that I made on Canva and I pasted a, a piece of Japanese tea dyed calligraphy paper and since this paper was bigger than this one and this one had white edges I ended up gluing paper around so it has a very nice interesting texture going on on the edges and the, this paper is so interesting it really thin and smooth on one side and the other side is rough but since it's screwed together you don't feel the rough side here uh, some musical notes from a book on music history this is um, something I have a lot of treasures that I found in the public domain that I've accumulated over the years so that's from that collection and um, these butterflies I have bunches of them they were beautiful in all kinds of crafts but uh, I have some for sale on my eBay if anybody is interested I will link that this is from a friendship um, one of those kind of gift books and it just has a nice texture and sweet phrases and it can be used as a journal space um, it's another journaling card I printed lines on the back they're very sort of faint but uh, I think it's nice on some of them to have something on the back Another one of my collected treasure digital images. This one is from a historic ornament book and I inked the edges and also put lines on the back. Some more tea dyed paper. This is from I think from an Audubon magazine, a vintage Audubon nature magazine illustration. Um, and that's the center of the first signature. And another journaling card. It's got very fine, very thin lines printed on the back. I think probably at least half the journaling cards in here have. Uh, 
something printed on the back. This one has more like a watermark, so you can still use it to write on, but um, has something a little different. This is from <clears throat> an Illustrated Classics kind of miniature novel, and I like the illustration, so on the back I made it into a journaling spot by putting some of the tea dyed Japanese paper and a couple of collage pieces. And this similar idea here. I think the book was something like The Three Musketeers or The Count of Monte Cristo. Something like that. Um, there's another journal card with writing space and lines on the back. And this one is just plain. This is the other side of that lemon digital that I created. This is more of the wallpaper digital. And this is a page from my little coloring book. It's blank on the back, so you could use that to journal on. And got the end of the first signature. Let's see where my binding is right here in the ribbon. Um, this is just a card to write on. I think this is a piece of some sort of junk mail. So I covered up the bits that had advertising on them and because I found the card quite cute. And this was a cute stylized uh, file folder that I cropped down to size. And a couple of more cute very kind of fantasy themed journaling cards. Music paper, major and minor scales, um, quote here it says, time flies, suns rise, and shadows fall, let time go by, love is forever overall, by Anonymous came from a cute little gift book of quotes and things. It's got illustrations and quotes on the back side also. Let's see what this one says. Uh, oh, the Bible quotes. And so that's there. If somebody wants to use them as journal cards, they could cover the quotes or cover the pictures, or just add little notes using a dark marker on them. Here is a little handmade envelope. And inside is a book from a very miniature dictionary. And it's the page that has, um, where is it? Le lemon, right here. Citrus tree and it's acid fruit or a very poor and worthless specimen. All right, it's the first. This, this journal is about the first kind of lemon, not the second. Um, and this is the other side of the envelope. I made it into a little pocket tuck spot. So we've got these little bits and pieces for journaling on. Uh, here I made a miniature notebook that's bound with some yellow string and it's just got lined pages inside. Identical on the front and back. I just love this um, Scrapbooking paper is very beautiful. That's the center of the second signature. Um, another journaling card. 
Um, this page is from a book on ancient art history, and it is actually one of my very favorite books for putting in these journals because um, it had inked illustrations like this, but on certain pages um, where it had color illustrations, they were pasted in separately. So um, I have more of that in here. I'll show you an example in a minute. This is some tie-dyed construction paper, which I think is just really beautiful effect. I didn't make it, I bought it that way, but it was just different than anything I'd ever seen. Whoop. Hit my knee against the desk, sorry. Um, here's another journaling card from uh, Public Domain Vintage lemon illustration that's also what this little tuck spot is made from a public domain graphic that i found um, these are some beautiful little bits of art nouveau illustration ephemera they're blank on the back oh that one has a mark on it but um Maybe it doesn't. Hold on. Uh, that was tape, I guess. All right. They're just really cute. You can either, you know, paste them somewhere if you want. A uh, really nice idea is actually if you want to write a secret in your journal is to write it on the back of one of these things and then permanently affix it somewhere in your journal. Then... The intention is there, the idea is there, but the words are hidden from prying eyes. Um, I personally am, uh, I don't know, I always feel embarrassed reading back when I write something in a journal, so I'm much better with visual keepsakes, because I always feel foolish reading back <laughs> things that I've written. Um, this is a little pocket that I made with some lace edging and um, inside there's just a bit of some coffee or tea distressed paper. It's like lined notebook paper that is saturated and uh, tinted. This is some more of the vintage wallpaper printable. And because my printer doesn't do edge-to-edge -edge printing, um, I ended up using my watercolors and painting the edges. And then I like the colors so much I accented the centers with um, the same thing. It's more wallpaper printable. This is a... I printed this... I designed this on Canva and I printed it directly onto an envelope. And places where my printer wasn't happy, it made smudges, so I covered it with these. Inside, there's a couple more journaling cards. I attached it to this music paper so that the page would fit. I also lined this with the rest of that uh, stained notebook paper. It's another tea dyed bit tie-dye construction paper. This is one of my vintage hat lady printables. And this is what I was talking about with the book where the illustration was just glued in on one edge. So I was able to take it out and it gives this wonderful bit of space for journaling on. A little belly band and another journaling card. This very cool vintage magazine illustration. Another pocket and I'm kind of rushing now because I see I'm running out of time, but there's not much too much else in here. Do what do more of what makes you happy and more of the wallpaper and this is the end. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.